Well, it started promising in the second half for Don Matthews, but it's unraveling. Corey Banks, third interception of the season, and interception number 20 for the Lions defense. Puts the offense back on the field. Joe Smith tripped up. Lewis Mackey, the middle linebacker, with the tackle. Some team defense here. Corey Banks going to get the interception. I'm going to you, show you three players. Corey Banks, Carl Kidd, and Dante Marsh. Now watch how they are going to be physical up front so that no receiver can push deep and threaten Corey Banks. He can come downhill on the football, and it's goodbye. And Corey Banks gets, is a beneficiary of good physical defense underneath by Carl Kidd and Dante Marsh. No one pushed him deep. Second and ten. Buck Pierce is perfect so far. Nine for nine, 164 yards. Two touchdowns, make it ten for ten, and another first down. Joe Smith over the middle. You know, and, and Buck Pierce, boys, he settled in nicely. Give some credit to Jacques Chapdelaine, the offensive coordinator for the BC Lions, who is it's called a nice game for Buck Pierce as he looks again to the sideline for the call because Chapdelaine is, is with the exception of a couple of those crossers to G. Roy Simon when he takes it the distance, but he's dumping the ball off to Joe Smith. Now, Wally Buono said anything a yard, he's going to kick. That looked like it just inside a yard. Yeah. But good play calling by Jock Chapdelaine. Pierce comes out and Jackson will go in on the third down and less than a yard gambles. But who says the backups can't play in this league? Yeah. And the Alouettes say somebody flinched on that BC offensive oh. line. Could change everything. It's yep. procedure against the BC Lions. And it looked like Jason Jimenez might have gone down in a three point stance and then come out of it. Of course, that would change everything. Procedure, BC 55, five yard penalty, still third down. Well, they're saying 55, Shurko Haji Rizzuli. Yeah, Haji Rizzuli's right beside. Look, look at that, that right side of the offensive line. Once you're in the three point, well, it was Haji Rizzuli. And you're in the three point stance, once you put your hand, three points meaning your two feet and your hand. And when your hand touches the turf, Big Schultz, Chris Schultz will tell you, you got to plant it in the turf until the ball is snapped. And, and it looked like Julie just pulled it up off the turf. Former Alouette heads off. It's a punting situation now, third and five and a half. Not a lot of wind going for field position here, Coach Wally Buono. He knocks it out at about the 17-yard line. 